Incredible. Autumn 2005. Kate discovers the Wagen Music Academy in a terrible state of disrepair and the Dean is an extortionist. <laughs> he says he will only help her if she fixes the mechanical musicians on the central square. Luckily, Kate can now count on an old friend. Oh, is Oscar supposed to help me? That is cool. I know I constantly keep saying that I think stuff is cool and I sound really lame saying it. I know, but I really do think that it is. Music Academy Inspection Report. I'll go back in October time. October 12, 1937. Yay. I love it. Today, I was due to inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students to give a public display of their talent and enable us to showcase the quality of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town. This game keeps me entertained. Like every year, I needed a volunteer from our students to help me during the inspection. And this year's choice was obvious. It's Junta, fine, really. Well, you're looking off colour, darling, and on edge. No, it's just that... It's just that I haven't heard from Leon since he left with the Origin Expedition from Kantar. And also, I... Well, we've got company. You'll tell me later, Dana, darling. Meantime, be good and stay safe. She came with me then. You too, Yunta. I should talk to that Yunta. Is everything all right? You look under the weather. We don't want one of our best and brightest to fall ill now, do we? I think she would minimize. Thank you for asking, Frau Beckmann, but I'm just a little tired, that's all. And who was that lady? Um, just a friend. I met this summer. You do keep some surprising company, Fraulein Rose. Anyway, I have something for you that will take your mind off things. Oh? <laughs> Would it interest you to see the mechanisms that enabled you to perform so brilliantly here last spring? I think it would. That would be wonderful. Good. Come and join me at the kiosk when you have a moment. But don't be too long, though. Alright. It's up to the Frau Beckman. Why is she the Frau? Um, Dana's diary. Well, it's been a while since I've seen this. Let's go back. Read all this. Yep, read this. I haven't read since this page. So I'll do that now because I'm not being Dana that often. June 1st, 1927. Concert went like a dream, what a relief. Feeling more confident now than ever to apply to go to the Paris Conservatoire. Just one more year at the Wagen Music Academy, then my journey begins. My journey to become a concert pianist, my dream. I can help my parents pay for the tuition fees thanks to the summer job I've managed to land at the mountain refuge of Silberspiegel. It was Adam Zimmer, father's friend, who put me in touch with Herr Gustav, the manager of the refuge, who sent me a letter of employment. So my journey begins. June 21st. Hooray! End of school! The year seemed like a walk in the park compared to the spring concert, though. It was so nerve-wracking, so glad it's over. Glad for the break, although already I can't wait for the new year at the Music Academy to begin. Father says I'll have to pay my way now, though. That's why I shall soon be starting my summer job at Herr Gustav's refuge in the Silberspiegel Mountain. So this is all, I've already done everything that she's writing about. The pay isn't exactly great, but it will still help towards my studies. And besides, I get full board and lodging and bowfuls galore, fresh mountain air. Mom doesn't stop lecturing me about how good it will be for my lungs. <laughs> I suspect she exaggerates my illness though, so she can keep me under her wing like a mother goose. Yeah, it could be. But I keep it under my head. This is no time to be upsetting my parents. They have enough on their plate at the moment. First of all, there's the money, or rather, the lack of it. My parents' shop isn't doing as well as it used to, that's for sure. And I can see that my poor old dad, who couldn't put aside as much money as his friend and one-time partner, Herr Zimmer, feels humiliated that I have to work to pay for my studies. 
and this is a family. No, wait. These are Kate's grandparents. Aren't they? They look like it. Or are they? No, these are my parents. I don't know. And then there's the persecution by the brown shadow against my parents and our neighbors. It seems to be getting worse these past weeks. I even overheard my parents whispering about a possible accession to power of this dreadful party. It's all the more worrying as the influence is not only growing in Ostertal, but also all over Europe and even the world over. I've never really been interested in politics, but one thing I do know is that this can't be good news for anyone. It's not. No time to write now. So much to do at the refuge. Tiring, but very interesting. So relieved Herr Gustav is so kind to me. Can't say the same for his daughter Lenny, though. But maybe we just need time to get to know each other. Soon see. No, she's just unkind to everyone. Anyway, better run. New customers arriving for the summer. Quite a little group, too. Scientists training for an expedition, if I understand rightly. And they're coming with their guide and even a famous filmmaker. No rest for the weary. This is a very nice picture of Junta. But who took it? <laughs> Since she's the photographer. September 5th. I can only say that so much has changed since that memorable evening at the refuge when I first met Leon. This past summer by his side has been like living in a dream. Such a sweet interlude. September 6th. So that's one day later. I finally went to say goodbye to Leon. Such a terrible separation. Can't write anymore. But you did. Damn the brown shadow and Frank Haas for putting us through this heartache just to satisfy his revenge. What revenge? Oh, because he sent Leon away. That's what she means. Last night I saw Junta. That's the filmmaker and Leon's friend I met last summer at the refuge. I can't think why such a well-known and free-minded figure should want to bother with an 18-year-old girl like me. She's probably just honoring the promise she made to Leanne about watching over me, isn't she? Although I must say she does seem sincere. Maybe we're simply becoming friends. But wasn't she a spy, so she's not sincere at all. But that's not all. Junta gave me a letter from Leon. The origin expedition he went with has arrived in Kantar, the capital of Baltayar. As long as he's there, we can write to each other. Leon will send his letters to Junta, who will pass them discreetly to me to avoid any, let's say, Awkward questions that my parents might ask about where the letters come from, and above all, about the sender. Why can't they know this? So excited. Saw Junta again today. She gave me another letter from Leon. Apparently Herr Berger, the expedition chief, is being really horrible to him. And yet Berger knows full well Leon was forced into accompanying the expedition. But Leon makes Kanta and Baltia seem so wonderful. I would love to go there with him, running across a land of dreams. Christmas seems so far away. I just can't wait to see him again. So much so that I'm even willing to accept that stupid nickname he gave me. He used it in all his letters anyway. Then Leon wrote of the imminent departure of the Origin Expedition from Kantar. They aim to head out for the wilderness of the high plateau of Pattaya to pursue their search for the abom abominable snowman. But worst of all, he says, he won't be able to write to me. He says the yetis don't have a postal service. <laughs> Not funny. Anyway, I hope everything goes well for him. So that origin expedition, I thought they were going on that expedition in Ostatal or at the refuge. But they are going on that expedition in Kanta. They were only training there then. October 14. I must admit I'm a bit worried, dear diary. It's been weeks since I last heard from Leon. I knew he wouldn't be able to write once he headed out for the high plateau, but I didn't realize they were supposed to stay there for so long. I wonder what's keeping them. Still no news from Leon. It's making me feel physically nervous. I get it. I keep getting these horrible nightmares of Leon being attacked by ferocious snow creatures. I was sick this morning when I woke up and I keep getting this oppressed feeling as if my lung affliction is back. My teachers at the academy find me distracted. I really need to get a hold of myself. Junta is going to stop by to see me at the academy after my lesson. With a little, with a little luck she'll have some good news. So what does Dana have? An illness I mean. They never said that did they? Just that she coughs? So... What do we need to do? Talk to Frau Beckmann. 
and talk to all these people. Not the most enjoyable day of the year, but someone's got to do it. What are you doing? Is this garbage? <laughs> I think it is. Wait, I could look at something. This. The maintenance room of the academy. Frau Beckmann forbids us from entering. Hmm, so that's why I have to go with Kate, I think. So bad I can't swap. I would love that if they included that again. I mean, it's not a food. Can I go in there? No. I don't know if you like me, but I like to check out everything before I go do what I have to do. So if that's boring to you, just skip ahead. At least I can try to run. This is where I just was. I'm not gonna enter here because that's what I think I have to do to progress. Isn't that where Frau Beckman is? So is this? No, this isn't a music academy. This is a tower. Today, me and my colleagues are carrying out maintenance on the mechanical orchestra. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, I can no. I don't want to do introspection. Didn't know Dana could do that as well. Don't be too long, she says. <laughs> She's just sitting here doing nothing. I can hardly believe I held my concert here just six months ago. Six months. Seems like a lifetime. So much has happened. Meeting Leon for a start. It would be so good if you he were here now. I love receiving his letters since he left to Baltea with the Origin Expedition. The way he described Kantar, the capital, made it sound like a city from a dream. We've said so much on paper. And I love to read between the lines. But since the expedition left Kanta for the mountains, no news. I just hope he's okay. Continue. So this is just, if you haven't read the notes, another way to find out what is going on. But since I do everything... Donna Rose, please, join me. All right. She could just see me sitting there. <laughs> but since I do everything for me, it's um, like repeating information. But I get it. If you don't want to read notes, you can do this. Go up. Come and see, Fraulein. Incredible. Isn't it just? You see these flags? Each mechanism housing for each musical automaton on the square is represented by one of these flags. Fascinating. Today is the day they are being serviced. Each mechanism has been inspected by an academy maintenance man. In theory, they are all functional. Theory. But if you like, you can go and see these maintenance men on my behalf and fetch back their respective reports. You would be doing me a big favor, as I have to inspect the piano in the kiosk. And also, it will give you a chance to take a peek at each of the automaton mechanisms. Why would you ask why me? Just say thank you. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Now, take this. You'll need it to open the maintenance room that leads to the most impressive mechanism of all, that of the clock tower. Thank you, Frau Beckmann. Oh, that's right, that's Do you have any are. questions before you go? Um, I don't know, let's just ask. Do you know who built the mechanical orchestra? My father told me it didn't exist when he was young. 
They were built by a strange young French inventor by the name of Borrelberg some years ago. From what I heard, he was visiting Wagen while en route to the east, just after the huge fire that destroyed the town. He was moved by the legend of Vera Schonberg, that virtuoso who died in the fire. So he offered his talents to rebuild the city and create the mechanical orchestra. I already knew that. Oh, uh, let's ask about her. What happened to Vera Schönberg? My mother always says it's the saddest story. And she's right. You probably know that Vera Schönberg was Wagen's most famous musician at the beginning of the century. But her legend was truly born the night she performed a cello concerto, right here on the square. It was also the night of the worst fire in Wagen's modern history. And Frau Schönberg, she... she died in the fire, right? She did. As well as all the other musicians and the entire audience. They were surrounded by flames, trapped on this square. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. But according to the legend, Vera Schonberg kept playing Wagen's hymn until the very end. She understood they were all doomed to die, and her music brought them peace of mind during their last moments. This automaton you played with last spring was created in her image as a final tribute. I had no idea. Well, now you know all about the legend of Vera Schonberg. Was there something else, Fraulein Rose? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of the Titanic the story. That they say that the musicians kept playing while the ship was going down. Nobody knows if that's really true. At least some say it is, some say it isn't. When the mechanical orchestra played along with me last spring, it was incredible. But... How does it manage to play at the same tempo as the piano? It was almost like in a dream. Oh, it wasn't dream work, Fraulein, but clockwork. The piano is connected to the mechanism that you are going to inspect and the hymn of Wagen played on the keys. That's what sets the rhythm and the intensity of the performance. And that's what triggers everything else. I'll go and see the maintenance team. Good. Thank you, Fraulein. Maintenance room key. According to Frau Beckmann, it opens the maintenance room just next to the clock tower. Looks like a cool key. Time swap, yay, it's back! <laughs> I love it. Thanks to the document found in 2005 by Kate, you can relive the events of the past it describes. Use the information down again in the past to progress with Kate. Right, I know this. Oh, this is so cool! Because last time, I wasn't done. Because I wanted to go back again, and I couldn't anymore. So I have a lot of objectives. As Kate, repair the mecha mechanical orchestra. Repair automatons on square, repair mechanism in clock tower. So this is what Kate has to do. Don't forget the maintenance man in the maintenance room of the clock tower. The room for which I gave you the key, Fraulein. All right, Fraulein. The maintenance man. Where is he? Are you the maintenance man? No. In the clock tower, so it's probably... No, this isn't the clock tower, is it? Wait. It's that big building. I can do introspection. But since I don't have to, I'm not gonna... But this was the clock tower, isn't it? I can't enter. You look like a maintenance man. Oh no, you're a painter. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Let's run around a bit. I can speak to you. Oh, 
part of the mechanism was damaged, but I changed it. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order now. All right. If you say so. This looks... complex. Yeah, I don't understand it. What's this? Did something? This looks like the base that Kate has, the symbols. What is this? Sir. What is this? Can't do anything with it. Hmm. Maybe Dana doesn't want to mess with this thing? Well, I would hate to be the one who must tune this. I guess so. So this is not where I need to be either. Let me see. This way then? I'm sure she showed me that, but it's been a while since I've played, so I don't remember. Ah, yes, use key. This looks cozy. Hey, careful what you're doing here, right? Don't go and injure yourself or damage any of the material. I'll try not to. I hope Dana is not too clumsy because I am. <laughs> Definitely knock over something. Uh, what do I need to do? I can speak with him. I can open this. I always like to look around a little bit before I do what I'm supposed to do. And I can exit, but that's it. Alright, I'm not gonna switch switch back to Kate yet because before I did that, I'm gonna look at this. And the spare parts for the automatons on the square. Cool. And I couldn't switch back anymore, so I don't wanna end things early, so I'm gonna look with Dana wherever I can look. I just come down from the tower. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order up there. The mechanism's in perfect condition. According to what the maintenance guy told Dana, there should be an access to the clock tower somewhere in the room. Did he just tell me that, really? Go and write out your report to Frau Beckman. There's nothing else for you to do here. Don't be rude to me. Oh, I've already checked over everything upstairs. There's no point you going up there. But gate maybe the elevator can. Dana tried to take. It leads to the clock tower. We need to find it, Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> so she's not thinking this. She's actually saying this out loud. Because I assume Oscar can't read minds. He's a robot. He's not a miracle or something. I don't know. <laughs> Some days I just ramble on and on, and I'm like, what am I even saying? This is one of those days. So do I need to do anything with her? I think this is all gate. Locate the elevator, yes. So do I switch back right now? Paul Beckman told me to look at the mechanisms on the square. I oh. wonder what they look like, especially now that they've been inspected by the maintenance men. Alright, so that's what I need to do still. Wait. Inspect. The maintenance man said it was functional. I shouldn't touch it. He may have said that, but not to me, because I haven't spoken to him. But if I do, he'll probably say that. So you're the one Frau Beckman sent, are you? Well, you can tell her there's no problem with this automaton. Just needs cleaning up and a bit of oiling. Have a gander at the mechanism, if you like. Just did. So I'm doing everything in the wrong order. Speak with this man. You can tell Frau Beckman, this automaton still works correctly, but it's so filthy that it won't last long. It's going to take me the whole day to give it a good clean if it's to get past winter. I should go back and see Frau Beckman. All right. Do I want to switch in the meantime? I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to miss anything with Dana. 
last time it was like, and you're done. <laughs> Can't go back. Hmm. Alright, so the game does warn me. You've re reached the end of the events from the past described in the document. Continue to explore those events though. All the information you need to progress in 2005 remain available. It's up to you to find them out. The report ends here. It doesn't say what happened next. I think it contains all the information you need to repair the mechanisms on the square, Kate Walker. Does it? So let's go back. Looks like the Rector was right, Oscar. I should be able to find the mechanisms he wants me to repair by following the circuit Dana described in the report. They would still need to be accessible to us today, Kate Walker. Glad to see you haven't lost any of your legendary optimism, my dear Oscar. I have a lot to do. So now I also got this question director about the main square before playing the piano. This is the same. Let's do that because he's right here. Uh, hello? Hmm. It looks like the rector is desperate to reduce the costs of running the academy. Read. Well, emergency use only. This is not a public phone. <laughs> but do I want to call someone? I don't have a phone number, do I? Not yet, at least. Excuse me. Hello? Now what? <laughs> the piano? There's just one problem. Even if I do manage to fix all the different parts of the mechanical orchestra, I still have to play the piano properly, and I haven't played piano since I left junior high. I my mom have. bought me one when I was a kid, but <laughs> it really wasn't my strong suit. There's no need to worry. You don't need to be a virtuoso to activate the mechanism. The mechanical orchestra will come out if you play all the notes in the right order, regardless of the rhythm. You just need to know the basics of music reading. All right, I can't do that either. <laughs> Hope Kate can. Do I want to pester him with all these questions while he's busy? I see you're not a fan of modernizing the square. Oh, the council, in its great wisdom, deemed it outdated and unpredictable, unpredictable. for the musical automatons to be triggered by the best student in the academy. Or a soloist, or a virtuoso visiting Wagen. Not to mention buskers. They certainly don't attract any tourists. No. What they thought was they would electrify and computerize the activation of the mechanical concert. So it would happen on a schedule, like an attraction. It's not a bad idea. Did they do it? Oh, the talks went on and on, but nothing was ever done. And so the square has basically been abandoned. And the mechanical automatons have fallen into disrepair. The last question. Why is the academy going to close? For the simple reason that we have no students. No students, no lessons. No lessons, no academy. And why are there no students? <laughs> That's not a stupid question. Because the mayor has taken away our grant that enabled our institution to become famous the world over. Why would he do that? Oh, budget restrictions, apparently. So, no staff, no students. No students, no lessons. I get it. But between you and me and this counter, I'd say that's all just a pretext to get us out of the building. And why would anyone want to do that? To make others rich, of course. Property developers who are going to slice our institution up into shops, apartments, and office spaces, just like they've done with all the other buildings around the musical square. I'd better get going then. Quite. Uh, good luck with the mechanisms, Fraulein. Thank you, I will need it. Alright, I can still go back to Dana, so I'll probably need to do something with Kate, get stuck, and become Dana again to find out how to fix it. Is what I think. Did 
Did you like this video? Check out my other videos on my page Fun with Miko and don't forget to subscribe.